Hello everyone. I have created a hazard and risk identification template in Google Sheets. What is a hazard and risk identification? Hazard and risk identification is a systematic process used to recognize and assess potential sources of harm, hazards, and the likelihood of adverse consequences, risks, in a workplace or environment. Hazard and risk identification is a key part of risk management and workplace safety. It helps prevent accidents, legal issues, and financial losses and ensures compliance with safety regulations. In the left area, I have included a menu such as Dashboard, Risk Identification, and Settings. The main area of the dashboard includes donut charts for risk control and risk sources identified. Below I have included the risk assessment matrix, defining probability rating versus impact rating. Below there are also column charts to identify risk by location and type. In the end, I have included a donut chart to identify the owners of the risks, and also a column chart of the task statuses. The risk identification menu will redirect to another tab, where you can filter all the risks identified by location, which will appear in the table below as a list. The small document icon will create the template form in Google Drive and can be updated constantly. The last button will open the pop-up form to record the new risk. The recorded risks will appear in the table below according to the selected location. Also at the end of each row it will appear the path of the included document, which can be viewed or easily updated. In the Settings tab, some lists can be updated according to your needs. Updating those areas will update drop-down listings in the pop-up forms to record new risks. Let me record the new risk as an example. First I will click on the File button to create a new risk identification template form. This template is a ready-made example of risk identification, you can use also your template as you want. Let's say I have filled out all the details, what I will do is I will copy the URL path of this document template. The second button will open the pop-up screen to record a new risk identification form. So I will add the subject, select the location, choose the date, source, risk type, and so on. For the record, all the drop-down lists from this form can be updated in the Settings tab, except the Probability and Impact Rating drop-down lists. And the last input field I will paste the document template form created earlier. So if we filter the location it will give all the recorded risks through the form. The last row will give the icon for the included template form, which can be viewed or updated.
At the beginning of each row there are checkboxes, and clicking on a checkbox will redirect to the Details tab. In the first part, you can view all the details of the task, and the second one includes the table to record the implementation of this identified risk. Clicking on the document icon will copy and open the planned implementation template example. After filling out all the necessary details copy the path URL link, then in the last button to open the pop-up form. Fill out the details from the document form and paste the path of the document form. You will notice that in the table will be added the implementation part of the risk. You can add multiple risk implementations based on the case. Created documents will be added at the end of each row. The button print will redirect to the print tab where you can view all the gathered information for each case. You can convert it into a PDF file and send it to the team or person who is requesting the case. For this demo purpose let me record another case with more than one chronology of the risk implementation. So first I create the risk identification document. Fill out the details, copy the URL path, Fill out the details of the document form, then paste the URL path and save it. Then click on the checkbox to redirect to details. Then click on the planning and implementation template form. Fill out the details of the template form, copy the path then click on the other button to open the pop-up form. Fill out the details of the template form, and paste the path of the template form. I'll repeat the process for the second case of the risk implementation, to be seen as a chronology with the different statuses.
Also to mention that not always documents can be created directly from the system. Let's say there are different safety specialists teams that are usually in the field, and they are filling out the hard copy form, the form can be scanned and uploaded in the subfolders of Google Drive, and by copying the link you can paste the path, and continue recording the case. I'll give an example. In the risk identification folder, I have uploaded manually documents received from field specialists. Same in plan implementation. So with the right click, then share, then copy link, instead of creating the document form, you can upload and copy the path. then paste it into the pop-up form. The rest of the process is the same. Thanks for watching.